Hello and welcome to Devlog 4 on my indie game about mushrooms. I've been hard at work since the last Devlog and I've made some exciting progress that I can't wait to share with you all. So, one of the problems I had in previous Devlogs is I spent too much time working on art and not enough time working on the features. So, this episode I'm going to change that. That means all of the features we're making today are going to be using placeholder graphics. So before you go into the comment section telling me how bad these features look, just remember, they're all temporary. Starting off, we now have a main menu. Only two of the buttons work though, that's the quit and resume buttons. We will address the other buttons in a future devlog. Next up is something I've been putting off for a while, and that is NPCs. The reason I've been putting this off is because it's hard to know where to start. There are heaps of tutorials on YouTube, but none of them were quite what I wanted. So after a while of researching different ways to make text boxes in Godot, I came across this plugin called Dialogic. And let me tell you, this plugin was a lifesaver. It had all of the features that I needed, from different text colours to custom character expressions, to even branching dialogue paths. And it was everything I needed. This one plugin saved my NPC system from just being a pipe dream. After learning BB code, I can now change the colour and outline of the text. And after adding a pop-up that tells the player which button to press when coming in range of the NPC using interpolation, this placeholder NPC is looking pretty good. Next on my list of things to do is wall jumping. I attempted this in the first devlog, but I was unable to get it working. But with my improved knowledge of GD script since the first devlog, I was able to make it work well. You may be thinking, how hard can it be to add wall jumping? You just check if the player is touching a wall, then you make him jump. Easy, right? But then we come into the issue of being able to jump off a wall infinitely, Hollow Knight style. And this isn't quite what I want for my game. So, the solution to this is... Push the player away from the wall so they can't get back on the wall, but that doesn't fix the problem at all. So I tried to make the velocity that you get pushed away from the wall larger, but this makes the wall jump look unrealistic and still doesn't fix the problem. I tried temporarily disabling the player's input to the direction of the wall, but they came off. But now the player is stopping randomly, so decrease some numbers, change some variables, and finally, a working wall jump. That didn't take an entire week to make. Next up is to make a unique game mechanic that no one has done before. Which is difficult because Celeste has used every possible 2D platformer gimmick in existence. But I eventually came up with grabbable handholds. That by pressing a button you grab onto, and by letting go of the button, it gives you an upwards boost of momentum. As far as I know, this is a unique game mechanic. But if any of you know any other game that does this, please let me know. But, after messing with the code a bit, we now have spinning handholds as well. And now the game actually feels somewhat fun. But, that'll be all for this devlog. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss one of my future episodes. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.